Today we're gonna spice it up. So what you're gonna need? Hey! Redo. <laughs> How you doing, Fit Fam? Andrew Clark here, your friendly neighborhood athletic therapist. Today we're doing hip stability series part two. So last week was part one, where we the clamshells and the abductions and all that sideline exercises. Today we're gonna spice it up, make it a little bit more difficult. So what you're gonna need? Theraband. Okay. They come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, you can order them from Sportcheck or somewhere online. Uh, we have a few kicking around here. You can sweet talk someone here maybe. Probably not, get your own. Um, but they come in different uh, colors. So there's green, blue, red, uh, and then each color kind of progresses. So it's green, uh, red, blue, and then you've got uh, black, and then it gets into like silver and gold. So gold would be the toughest. But uh, basically what you're looking for is something with some tensile strength. And I would uh, keep them out of the sun, that way they don't dry up and crack on you. So what we're going to do, we're gonna do three exercises for you today. Again, working on that, uh, that glute medius, that, that hip abductor and stabilizer. So for number one, we used to do this all the time at the, uh, the old gym. You're gonna just climb into it. You can leave it around your ankles, okay? And these are called monster walks or lateral walks. So what you're going to do, proper position, you're just gonna slightly unlock the knee, kinda stick your, your butt out, find that nice neutral spine, keep your shoulders up, okay? And then all you're doing, you want about shoulder width tension on the bands uh, as a starting point, okay? And then you're gonna take about two, inch, two inches to the right, followed by two inches to the left, okay? And you're just gonna kinda step along here. Now, a couple things you want to do is, one, you wanna keep that shoulder up and that core tight with the butt back, but you also don't wanna drag your foot, okay? Because the whole point of that glute medius is actually when you lift up that single leg foot. That's when you're gonna get that contraction in there, okay? So you're always stepping along. And what I would do with this is I would go um, you know, 15, 20 steps to the right, followed by 15 steps or 20 steps to the left, okay? So the next exercise, still with the band. Uh, this one you can kind of put around your knees or if you prefer around the ankles, you can do that as well. And this one's just your standard squat, okay? Now, there's a lot of people that are still working on their squat technique at the gym, so I'm gonna go through a little refresher while you're here and uh, something that you guys can try at home because we see a lot of people that are either collapsing over top or they're literally, their chest is right down to the floor when they're doing them. So to get a nice start, use a countertop, a chair, or if you've got a wall here, get the feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, okay? Find that neutral spine in the low back, okay? And then what you do is you actually wanna stick your butt like you're going to sit on the chair, okay? And then come down from there till you get about 90, 90 at the knees, squeeze the glutes and drive right up, okay? So now the band's gonna try and bring those knees inwards and that's where you're gonna get some of that work into that glute media. So sit in that butt back and then squeezing up from there. Now, if you're doing it right, guys, you're not gonna feel the exercise in the quads, you're gonna feel it more into the, into the glutes, which is where we wanna work those coconuts. The last and final exercise, we're coming back down to this nice sideline beach position here, I like to call it. Um, for this one, we're gonna get into a side bridge or a side plank. So what you wanna do, you wanna line up that elbow right underneath the shoulder joint, okay? You're gonna squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, so you want this activated, and you want the top hip activated, the core is nice and tight. And now, I'm gonna show you some variations here. So. Step number one would just be to drop the hips and then pick them back up, okay? Now, we're working this hip down here. Now, if we're gonna make that a little bit tougher, we're gonna end up working this hip as well and this hip if we just bring that leg up into the air like so. More of those abductions, okay? Things you wanna watch for when you're doing this is you don't want that hip to drop as you lift that leg. Okay, so try and keep that nice and tight. You're gonna start to get a vein here. The eyeball might pop out. Great exercise though. Once you get through 10 to 15 reps, you're really gonna start to feel it in those hips, okay? Now, if you're getting a little bit of shoulder pain, shoulder pain just recheck where that elbow is and make sure that you're kind of driving into the ground and if you need to, you can put another hand down for support, 
okay? But you can get funky with this exercise. You can do a bicycle, okay? You can do those circles that we we're doing in Hip Stability Series Part One. Uh, mix it up and enjoy. Thank you, Fit Fam. Bye.